Last summer, Squarespace rolled out uh, Fluid Engine, which is their current layout editor uh, on the 7.1 platform. And it is the default way to create a Squarespace website today. Uh, most Squarespace templates or themes are designed for Fluid Engine on the 7.1 platform. Um, but once upon a time, there was a, a thing called uh, developer mode on the 7.0 platform. It still exists. Um, however, I don't think it gets much use. And the reason for that is uh, threefold. One, um, there's always been a disclaimer that if you turn this on, you're not going to get any more template updates from Squarespace. And uh, that could be kind of concerning. Uh, two, designers and developers have typically advised, yeah, just, you know, don't touch that. Or, I mean, we even have uh, disclaimers on our site at squarespacethemes.com that, yeah, you don't need to turn on developer mode. So it's it just had this aura of do not touch over it. And, uh, and then with the upgrades in the platform from 7.0 to 7.1 and then Fluid Engine, it's just been like, yay, it's just kind of been forgotten about, in my opinion. Um, but recently, I was doing some migrations from for some clients from 7.0 to 7.1. And uh, it's the first time I'd done any really hands-on client work in like four years. And... Um, so it became apparent to me that, oh, wait, there are some, some really unique and cool things about these 7.0 templates that I can't recreate in 7.1 without a whole lot of code. So there's a, you know, you've got the cool um, drag and drop functionality of Fluid Engine, but then you miss out on a lot of the, the, the unique features and functionalities that made um, new 7.0 templates like a, a thing. I don't know if, if you remember, but once upon a time, what Squarespace releasing new templates on 7.0, it was like a, a big deal because now you had more options and each template was unique and had these, it was just custom tailored to, to different use cases. And you might discover something that you could do in one that you can't do in the other. And it would be a little frustrating because you might want to pull something from the Flatiron template and, and something from the uh, York template and smash them together, but you couldn't do that. So you had to compromise and just pick one and then maybe, you know, tweak it or get some custom code. And yeah, so <laughs> that's how it used to be, right? But now with 7.1, it's just one template with various themes on top of it so um that led me to to get curious again and say well what could we do with the 7.0 platform and i think the two the the big the the biggest uh feature of developer mode is custom collections and custom post types and i had known this back in the day but i didn't have a use case i'm the type of person like i need i need something uh, useful that I'm or that I want to pursue in order to like learn something. So anyway, um, I thought, well, I've got a lot of custom collections on squarespacethemes.com. Uh, it's essentially a directory, which I didn't start off with the intention of creating a directory, but now that it is one, I could definitely make use of, you know, custom post types and custom collections. So, let me let me turn this on and and see what I could do. At the same time, um, I don't know where MySpace came into the picture, but um, I thought let me see if I can recreate a MySpace profile with this as just an experiment um, to get my hands dirty, I guess. Um, and so I did, and I realized yeah, there's still a lot of potential in this developer mode platform because I still have all of the functionality of Squarespace. So I've got members areas. I've got, if we check out the uh, um, the store, uh, the commerce functionality is the same. Hold on a second. 
yeah, if we check out the store, the commerce functionality is the same. So it's just it's just the template that is, you know, unique that I'm in control of. But everything else, as far as the CMS goes, you know, I'm not missing out on anything. And so um, that was kind of a, you know, surprise to me in a sense where it's like, okay, so it's not like I'm using an inferior platform or, you know, I'm using the same thing as 7.1, essentially just without the the fluid engine component, which, um, you know, depending on the trade-offs of what kind of customizations you want to do, it's just a trade-off. So um, I say all of that to say uh, that I think there are some really specific and unique use cases where Squarespace developer platform really shines, but I don't think those cases have been uh, either showcased enough or explored deeply enough. I'm, I know they're out there. I know you guys are out there and have made some awesome stuff, um, but I don't think it's been it's been showcased or it's been uh, brought to light. Um, the other thing is, it's like there are also a lot of uh, shortcomings, right? So it's almost like there's just a real a slither of of niche use cases where this this platform thrives uh we're outside of it then you might want to use something else right um but i'm i'm really curious to go deeper into what those use cases are uh so if you've made something on the developer mode platform that you you know you feel proud of or uh just really showcases the potential of the platform i'd love to know about it um, because, uh, you know, I don't think it's going anywhere. So might as well, um, keep seeing what we can do. The other thing is, you know, they're, they're, the documentation and the resources are there. So, um, you've got all of the, the documentation you need to get started on the, uh, developers.squarespace.com site. And then also on YouTube, there's a guy who made a few videos uh, some years ago that I watched and I thought they were pretty good. So definitely enough to get started. The other thing is there's been a lot of uh, work on the, the commerce APIs over the past few years. And so I think, you know, if if we're using this stuff uh, and making useful things with it, uh, I think it's it's more incentive for Squarespace to continue to service it. So, um, yeah, don't sleep on don't sleep on uh, the developer mode. I think it's uh, it's a great. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got for this one. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments or hit me back wherever you find me on. Except don't hit me back on Instagram. I need to shut off that channel because. Yeah, don't hit me up <laughs> on there, but hit me up anywhere else. All right, peace.